We are in Jericho, the oldest uh, city in the world. It's over 10,000 years old. Uh, we are, according to this uh, mosaic behind below me, 1,300 feet below sea level. And behind me, uh, in the far background, are the walls of Jericho. If you remember Joshua walking around the walls of Jericho, uh, leading the army from the Promised Land. The Jordan River is uh, just right around the corner from us. Uh, they came around here, they walked around, and you see some of the remains that they dug up from the walls of Jericho. Those walls are over 1,500 years old. That was uh, predates the times of Joshua by over 100 years. So uh, we know that these were the walls that fell down. We see from archaeology that they actually fell inward, uh, um, and it's, or outward rather, instead of inward, as Scripture talks about. And, and the archaeology backs that up. Uh, there's a spot there where Rahab's house would have been, where the walls remain standing. One very small portion. Again, whenever we see archaeology, the more we dig, the more it proves the Bible right. And this round right in front of us here, we have the spring of Elisha. This is one of the miracles of Elisha. Uh, if you look earlier in 2 Kings chapter 2, Elijah goes up in a chariot of fire, and it, Elijah says, let me have twice your power. Oh, what a bold request. And it's clearly evident that he has it. And his first miracle after that is taking the waters of Jericho, which is a great place that people said at the time of Elisha, it's a great place to be, but, um, but, but the water's bad. So Elijah took some bowl and a, a salt and a bowl and made it clean. And it says, from this day, this water is clean. So that is what we're remembering here uh, with the spring of Elijah. So may we he leave here uh, knowing that we have a God that can knock down walls, a, not, a, a God that can make the, the bad new and a God that can make the, the dirty clean. Amen, amen.